Seeing how girls were brought into the sex trade in Europe was a major wake-up call. But we also wanted to know how girls were winding up in prostitution in other parts of the world. And so we headed to Southeast Asia, which we knew was a hot spot for prostitution. The first thing that strikes you when you get to Thailand is the beauty of the country. But the next thing that you notice is that prostitution is a major part of their society. In fact, there was one government-sponsored ad that read, the one fruit of Thailand more delicious than durian is its young women. We traveled all across the nation, from Chiang Mai to Bangkok to Pattaya, down to Phuket, and we talked with scores of girls in prostitution who all shared a similar story. Most of them had come from the rural regions of Thailand, and pressured to provide for their parents, they went into the big cities in search of work. The problem is that the Thai government doesn't give these girls citizenship, making it nearly impossible to get a legitimate job. And so they get recruited to work in massage parlors, karaoke clubs, uh, girly bars, no citizenship necessary. Well, I totally knew that a lot of them weren't there because they wanted to be. Okay, there were a very, very, very small percentage that were, but then usually because of their financial situation, they were there. I, I went to bed with over 500 girls in two years. And because they were there, and you know, they said, I'm helping my family. I'm helping my family. Their family doesn't respect them no more. They're ashamed of them, but they still want the money. So what they're going to do? If you if they are working in the factory, they get a four thousand baht a month. They have a two kids. What they are going to do? I I ask them what what they're going to do. So better to be coming down to sell them something else. They get more money and they have a more beautiful life. For those indulging in the illicit pleasures, Thailand is like this sexual utopia. But for those who are trapped in the industry, uh, nothing could be further from the truth. So, do the girls enjoy it? Do they like it? Oh, it should be, yeah. Every time when I'm sitting in the bar, they're quite happy. So it should be they like it. That's why they come and sitting around, around everywhere. It should be they like it. It should be they like it. I think initially we had a very narrow conception of what constitutes human trafficking. But being in Thailand, we began to see a broader injustice occurring in the sex industry. These girls hadn't been abducted or physically forced into prostitution. Yet their social conditions had virtually removed personal choice from the equation. We met up with Lauren Bethel to talk about this. She's a known expert in the field and worked with girls in the sex trade in Thailand for 14 years. I've defined trafficking as the exploitation of vulnerability in any situation. It's the exploitation of vulnerability of economic dysfunction. It's the exploitation of vulnerability of um, sexual abuse. It's the exploitation of the vulnerability of low, girls with low self-esteem or boys with low self-esteem. It's an, it's trafficking is simply an exploitation of vulnerability. More often than not, you don't need a gun. 
You don't need to physically drag someone from point A to point B to control, exploit, and use them in prostitution. You simply need to take advantage of the factors that already compel women into prostitution. This was really a defining moment for us where we realized that victims of the sex industry extended beyond those who had just been trafficked in the classic sense to all girls whose vulnerabilities had destined them for prostitution. Some of them people, they come in looking for the young girls. It means they'll be in a village. You know, they're in, the, they in a very poor village and pay the money from the family and get it, get it from the village. But it's not, this is the way the situation is. Most is some, some few country in the village. If someone, they've been in a village and they like it and they're gonna talk to with the, 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 the family and family because they don't understand any situations, no English, nothing. So just with, I like your daughter. I just pay them maybe 100,000 baht so they can buy and, and pay the parents. Yeah. It, well, let, let's say it's a buy, buy from the parents. 